Hello everyone, my name is Emerson and this is the Cloud Knowledge Chips channel. My main goal is to share my cloud knowledge with you. So, if you are working or would like to work with cloud technology, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon to receive alerts about my new videos. If you'd like to know more about me or my cloud journey, below is my LinkedIn, feel free to send me a message, it will be my pleasure to help you during your cloud journey. Let's go to the content! Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about custom models on Azure AI Document Intelligence. Here I am on the Document Intelligence Studio, and then we have the, the two custom models that we have today available. One of them is the custom extraction model, and the other one is custom classification model. The first one, the extraction model, is when you uh, have some kind of documents and you'd like to train AI to get information from that specific documents, you can use the custom extraction model. The classification, uh, when you have a lot of documents using different types, different templates, and would like to classify them before you extract information, then you can use the custom classification. Uh, I'm going to talk about the custom classification first, and then we can go to the custom extraction model in the next video. When you click here in the custom classification model, you have a tutorial explaining all the steps that you need to do to train your custom classification model. And then here we can create a new custom classification model project. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call custom class 001. Uh, you can leave the description as empty or you can uh, insert the description as you like. Then you need to select your Azure subscription, the Azure subscription where you have your Azure AI document intelligence resource. In my case, it is this one, CogDoc Recognition. This is the name of my Azure uh, AI document intelligence resource. If you like, you can select as default, so in the next time, you won't have to select all this information. It's going to be pre-filled for you, so it's up to you. Now you can click on Continue. Then you need to select the storage account, the blob storage account in the container, where you're going to upload your documents, and then the AI will use the storage account to create all the files that we need to train our custom classification model. So again, I'm going to select my subscription, my research group, the storage account, and then I can select the container as well. If you don't have a storage account, you can create it right now. You can just hit here and create a new storage account, um, fill out the name and other information, and then you can create it using the Azure uh, Document Intelligence Studio as well. If you have a different folder path for different kind of purpose or would like to use the same uh, container in the same Bob container but for different kind of trains, you can create folder and you can specify your folder path specific for this one. In this case, I will leave it blank, then I will hit the continue. Create project. It's going to check everything, it's going to check the core settings, the storage account, if you have access to the storage account as well. And then it's going to present you these sections when you can load your documents, label your documents, train your model, and also test your model to see if it's working as expected. So here I'm going to upload some files. I have some files that I got from Microsoft as well. So let me get it. I'm going to use the invoice. I have invoice from Contoso and invoice for Autotune as well. So I'm going to select five files from Contoso. I'm going to upload all these five files. Then we can click on files and check how is the files. You can see the invoice number is different. All the information is different and it's more like if you do like to zoom it, it seems like um, it's just a picture that I have take that I took from some invoice files. So I can create a type. So in this case I'm gonna use contoso invoice. Hit enter. 
you can see how many documents I have selected as contos in Vice. So, and now when I click on the document, I can select that specific type. I can create a new type as well here, but let's use this one. Contoso, Contoso Invoice, Contoso Invoice, Contoso Invoice, and Contoso Invoice. Okay, let's bring more files to this training model. Let's get the Audatum. Then we have all the files from Audatum. And then here, when I click here, I can select Contoso Invoice or I can create a new one. So I will create a new one. Audatum invoice okay now i have another class here another type and then i can use that specific type for all my files that i have from Auda2. okay awesome now i have five files for each type of documents that i have i can hit the button train I can give a name to my model, so I will say classification 001. I can enter a description as well, and then I need to confirm that I have ensured that the OCR result version of training files is matched with the project version. Now I hit train. It's going to prepare the training model, it's going to create a new training model, and you're going to start to train that specific model. Now I can go to the models. When I come to models, I can see my models. That one that we uh, just created is in not started. I can refresh. Now it's succeeded. Okay. I can hit refresh again, just to make sure that it is succeeded. And then I can go to my test environment. When I go to my test environment, I can select which model I would like to test. So if I have a lot of models, I can select the model right here. And then I can bring my files to test if my train model is working as expected. So let's use the Contoso 6 file. Let's run the analysis and see what we got. Okay. Page one, just one page for this document, is 6% uh, confident that this document belongs to Contoso Invoice. Let's get another one. Audatum, test, Audatum. Let's run analysis again. And 41% of confidence that this document belongs to Audatum Invoice. So, in the result, you're going to see like page number, you're going to get the document type based on the type that I have created and you have trained your model, also the confidence as well. So, you can create some thresholds in your applications. If you see that the document, the thresholds like is just 20% of confidence that documents belong to that specific type, you can just select that document to some manual check and then you can see if that document is right or not if not you can create another type and train your model again you can create some alerts based on that based on the thresholds when you have some threshold that's not does not satisfy the business needs you can just send an alert these are the documents that we have some low confidence and then we need to a double check just to make sure that we are doing the right thing here okay uh, Code. Code is not available yet. Microsoft probably is going to put some examples how to use that in the future, but it's not available right now. But it should not be a problem because in behind the scenes, AI Document Intelligence Studio is doing is just calling the APIs from that specific services, sending all the files, all the JSON files, all the files that we have selected uh, and getting the result. So. If you have access to the web services, you can check the web services, you can create your own application calling the web services from Azure's AI service. On settings, you have the settings for your specific model, your specific project, sorry. And then you can check as well if, you have, if you'd like to change the folder, uh, if new versions of API is available, 
you can select as well. So you can see that we have one here as a preview and one as a general availability. So if you'd like to check the new features the, the, for this specific one, you can just select the preview one and run your model again. Okay, that's all from the custom classification. In the next video, we are gonna talk about the custom extraction and how you can select uh, your documents, select what labels or what fields would like to extract from that specific model and train your model as well. See you in the next video.